All right, kids, we're at soccer. Let's go. Hi, I'm Hayden Phillips, and I'm standing in front of the Holden Captiva. So this particular Captiva is powered by a four-cylinder turbo diesel, putting out 110 kilowatts at 4,000 RPM, and a massive 400 newton meters of torque at only 2,000 RPMs. So it's got seven seats, climate control, active all-wheel drive, and amazing fuel economy at just 8.1 liters, the 100 Ks. Now the Captiva looks very, very good on paper. So this Captiva has seven seats. Now, at the moment, boot space looks pretty good, but let me put the seven seats up. So with all seven seats in use, well, if I put some stuff in, well, I mean, we put that there and, and an umbrella maybe. Um, we'll, put, we'll put that, oh, hang on. Ooh. Hang on, here we go. Now, it's magazine two. We put that in there, we can maybe just fit that in. And if we try and close the boot, oh, well, that's kind of disappointing, huh? So here we get to the next bit where I'm gonna get in the back row. So if we pull this down, oh, hang on. So I'm gonna demonstrate getting into the back row. Did it again. So, Let's have a look at the back seats. Now, now that this is up, I can easily get in the back. Now that I'm in, let's get those seats up. Now, I feel like my knees are in my chest, but that's okay. So we've got a cup holder back here, so at least I'll have something to drink. It is a little bit warm back here though, because there's no air con vents. Now this Captiva has active all wheel drive, but when are you ever going to need it? Unless the supermarket car park has grown a set of rocks and a big hill since the last time I visited. So I've put the seat all the way back and while well, leg room is pretty good, and head room is also pretty good, everything about this car is pretty good. But that's just it. It's just pretty good. So up the front here, we've actually got quite a tacky dashboard. Everything's, you know, hard plastic, everything. Even the steering wheel, it's not great either. You know, um, we've actually got quite a lot of buttons up here. It's nearly looking like a um, Star Wars spaceship cockpit up here. You know, we've got a million buttons and you don't know what to do with them. Now, sound systems are something that are very important to me and the Captiva does it pretty well with its six speaker. Uh, stereo, so. So driving the Captiva feels a little bit how it looks pretty good. So, um, you know, it's comfortable. It feels like a big four wheel drive on the inside, but on the outside, you really don't get that look. Um, the diesel is a little sluggish, but once it gets going, it does feel nice, especially when the turbo kicks in. Um, this model is actually um, the top of the range, so it has leather seats. Um, it's very, very comfortable. Like, honestly, this is um, quite nice to drive. The only downside is the large A pillars, they do create quite a blind spot, nearly hiding a car sometimes. Um, same problem with the VE Commodores, too. So, this one is a little different. It's got a touchscreen, uh, which does take quite a little bit of pushing. Um, you've got to push it quite hard, nearly like you're going to break it. So, here we are on a small dirt track. This is perfect to test out that active all-wheel drive. So, if we continue through, the diesel pulls through really, really nice. Um, 
very comfortable again it's like it's a natural habitat you know like this thing is just excellent goes through very nicely um, and yeah that active all-wheel drive really does make the difference you know if this was front-wheel drive we would have been bogged so here we come to the next uh, little adventure some water so let's just see how well the Captiva takes this thing so as we can feel the nice deep water here we've got some little water splashing up but look at that thanks to the active all-wheel drive we didn't get bogged so that example was just a one-off like come on when are you ever going to need the all-wheel drive? 